So about three weeks ago, I went to TJ to pick up my uncle from the airport. And as we were waiting on the line to cross the border, I saw a bunch of CBP, California Border Patrol officers, just kind of walking along the car with dogs and like kind of smelling everything. And I was just kind of like wondering, why are they doing this, you know? So I, that kind of caught my attention, especially since I've been watching a show called Border Wars for like about a year. So today I'll be explaining to you the process CBP officers take to inspect illegal substances from cars to sneak in or out of the U.S. So as I have said, I've been researching this for several weeks now, and I've been watching the show Border Wars for like a year and a half now, so it's pretty good. <laughs> and according to ohmygod.com, CBP protects 7,000 miles of land borders the U.S. shares with Mexico and Canada as well as 95,000 miles of shoreline. I'm sure that all of you hear about all the cartel wars and all the disaster that's happening right now. And some of you are kind of afraid to cross the border and like, go visit family members in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Today I'll discuss what methods are used to combat illegal substances from coming in or out of the U.S., how they dismantle the cars to check the illegal substances, and what they do with the drugs. According to FBI.gov, it is estimated that approximately 18 to $39 billion annually is moved from the interior of the U.S. to the southwest border on behalf of Mexican and Colombian DTOs. Also from FBI.gov, the major drugs that are smuggled are heroin, marijuana, methamphetamine, and cocaine. The first thing that I would like you to know is what types of methods are used to check for illegal substances. The CBP officers are using different methods to find illegal substances from cars keeping them from reaching their destinations. One of the methods that, that are used are canine dogs. Canine dogs are used by CBP officers to smell out illegal substances that are in hard to see places. These are dogs that have gone through extensive training since a very young age to be able to detect things. CBP officers can't. If a dog then detects something on any car, they scratch a the place they detected something at and sit down right in front of it. According to CBP.gov, the CBP K-19 is one of the best tools CBP has to carry out the CBP mission, protect the nation from terrorists and their weapons at, any, at and between the ports of entry. Another thing they use is cameras. The CBP officers are now using high-tech cameras that can easily scan any car's license plates in a matter of seconds and run a background check on that car. This allows the CBP to see a suspicious car and run a background check on the history of the car to see if it has any bad history. Cleveland.com states, as vehicles approach checkpoints, stationary cameras take images of the front and rear license plates, the driver image, and a color picture of the car. That much information in one place can, makes it easy to connect the dots and track where a vehicle has been. Another thing they use is the Z portal. The Z portal is an X-ray scanner that can scan a car and see if it has been tampered with. Even better, it shows where any illegal substance is at through the scan. And AutoEvolution.com states, it's like having Superman and his x-ray vision working for the Border Patrol on a regular basis. Cars passing through the checkpoint get scanned in real time and providing a very telling picture to the good guys so you can sleep better at night knowing that nothing illegal is entering or exiting the country. Now that you have an idea of what types of methods and they use to stop illegal substances from exiting or entering the border. Let's see how they dismantle the cars and to find illegal substances. The CBP officers dismantle any car that they believe have illegal substances. Inside the car. Inside the car is checked through the, by the CBP officers and is taken apart removing any compartment where any secret stash can be in. They then go through every inch that can be covered by removing the seats and the insides of the doors and any other open area that can have hidden illegal substances. In the outside of the car, the CBP officers then look through the outside of the car by checking if there has been any tampering with. They then remove the front and back bumpers where it is easy to store illegal substances. Then they lift the cars up and go under and tap the bottom to see if they have anything out of the ordinary. If they suspect something has an illegal substance, they remove it off. Usually the cartels tamper with the gas tanks since it is easy to tamper with and hide things. Now that I have explained to you how they dismantle the cars, that they believe have illegal substances, I'll explain to you what they do with the legal substances they find. Once CBP officers find the illegal substance they have been looking for, they figure out what to do with it. The total. 
Once they have found all the illegal substances, they figure out what the total amount was of the substance. If it was drugs, they figure out what type of drug it was and how much they confiscated, and they figure out the street value of the amount. If it was money, they get all the packages and count out all the money that they had found and give a final number. Where it goes, no one really knows where the legal substances go to except the CBP offices. But as I have seen on Border Wars, they save all the drugs, money, and guns in different storages. Once they have filled all those storages, they get rid of the storage. Many of the CBP officers tell, they, you, tell you that they all get destroyed, but none of them say how. According to ohmygov.com, a CBP spokesperson refused to disclose any further information as to who handles the material and where it goes, saying only that it was handled internally and that it gets destroyed. And yesterday I actually watched Four Awards and it was a new episode <laughs> and it actually showed how like what they do with the drugs and stuff. And they actually get like the storages and there's like a big open flame where they just dump them all in there and they burn everything. So that's pretty good. Today I have discussed what methods are used to combat illegal substances from coming in or out of the US, how they dismantle the cars to check the illegal substances and what they do with the drugs. As you all know, combating illegal substances occurs every day in the borders to keep illegal things out of our country. This is an issue that is being fought by all of our brave CDP officers as we speak. So I'm just going to show you a quick uh, clip. Okay. Drug trade. 